dear viewers, of course, by now we all know that lawyer Paul Gichero passed on. So let's take a quick snippet on his biography. So he was born in 1972 in Nandi County. Paul Gichero went to Kapsabet Boys High School and later joined university where he obtained an undergraduate degree in law. He later on joined the Kenya School of Law for a postgraduate diploma. So after completing his studies, the story says that he went on to work with Kyla and company advocates before he left and started his own company, Gicheru and Company Advocates in Eldoret. So why Gicheru? Lawyer Paul Gicheru returned to the limelight on November 2nd, 2022, after he surrendered to the authorities in the Netherlands, pursuant to the arrest warrant. According to him, he decided to make the trip a secret because he did not want to worry some people that is in relation to the ICC case of 20 of 2007. On November 3rd, 2020, Netherlands authority handed him to the custody of the International Criminal Court and made his first appearance before the court two days later. That's November 6th, 2020. So pre-trial chamber A of the ICC on December 11, 2020 separated Gicheru's case from that of Philip Kipko H. Bet. On February 1, 2021, Gicheru was released to Kenya with specific conditions restricting liberty as the ICC confirmed the charges against him. So the conditions that were put on Paul Gicheru were as follows. One, providing financial security to ICC registrar in the form of cash or bank order to the value of 1 million. Two, comply with all orders issued and surrender himself immediately to relevant authorities if required by the chamber. Three, appear before the chamber at the date, time, place and in the manner ordered by the chamber and shall remain in attendance until excused. Four, shall not obstruct or endanger the investigation or the court proceedings and shall not engage in any activities directly or indirectly that are prohibited under Article 70 of the statute. Five, shall not contact directly or in indirectly any of the prosecutor's witnesses all victims in this case except through counsel authorized by authorized to represent him before the court and in accordance with the applicable mm -hmm. protocols. Sixth, shall not directly or through any other person make any public statements, social media posts or communicate with the media about the merits, the merits of the case. Seven, shall reside in Kenya at a specific address for the duration of the proceedings when not present in the Netherlands for the purpose of court proceedings unless otherwise authorized in advance by the Chamber. Eight, shall provide the registrar with copies of all passports, visas, identity documents and any other travel documents issued to him shall not travel internationally except to the extent permitted by the Chamber and shall inform the registrar or his delegate no later than seven days prior to any international travel. Nine, shall report once a week to the registrar, his delegate, or other persons on the date and time and in the manner to be determined by the registrar, which may include the use of video conferencing technology. 10. Shall provide the registrar with all mobile and other telephone numbers and shall ensure that at least one of his mobile telephone numbers remains active and with sufficient credit to, the re to be reachable at any time. So on July 15, 2021, ICC Pretrial Chamber A confirmed the charges of offenses against the administration of justice against Paul Kishel and committing him to 
trial, full trial, and on, a Feb on the February 15th, the case began in trial chamber. That is February 15th this year. So the lawyer pleaded not guilty to all the charges. The prosecution began, the prosecution presented its opening statements and called eight witnesses to testify against Kishero. So on April 25th, the same year, Gichero defense team announced that they would not call any witnesses and the closing statements were made on July 27th. So ICC trial chamber 3 was here to deliver its judgment on the case by the time Gichero was found dead at his current home on September 27th. That is the night of yesterday. So ladies and gentlemen, that was a brief history of Paul Gishel, the rise and fall of Paul Gishel. So I'd like to wind up with those few remarks. Please take a moment to subscribe to our channel so that you can continue supporting us. And once again, I'd like to say thank you so much for all those who've been supporting us until this level. So again, I'd like to wish you a nice day and please stay safe.